We'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure. What's going on, adventurers? We are headed out on the road from Maryland to Florida. It's gonna be close to a thousand miles. We always say it's about a thousand miles each way. So we're headed down. We're gonna go have a lot of fun. We are gonna put the uh, dogs in the kennel for a few days while we're at Disney. So we are gonna have some Disney excitement and adventure for you guys. And this trip we're celebrating Lisa and my mama's birthday. So we are gonna be celebrating those at Disney. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Look who's over here. <laughs> Driving. Lisa's right. starting out the drive. Let's see what's going on back here. What's happening with these furry adventurers? He's hiding behind the chair. And Petunia, what are you doing? Seat. She's got her little booster seat there. She's all up. Oh, here he comes. Hey, bud. What you doing? We are gonna keep you guys in the loop as we proceed on our trip. We'll see you guys in a little while. And this is DC traffic for you guys that aren't familiar. DC traffic is horrible, but it's actually it's not too too bad usually on the weekends. But we just realized that. The World Series is getting ready to happen, so that's why the traffic is so crazy today. Lisa's doing a great job driving. Had a treat. <laughs> we had some Burger King already. I was just munching on some corn nuts and <laughs> got some cotton candy that we were enjoying a little bit ago. And there's some sugar. Some more goodies in here. Got some chips and sunflower seeds. Those are healthy, so those are I okay. Fruit too. I bring oh, did you bring some fruit? Apples oh. and, and I've just been informed that we have some fruit to enjoy later. So normally when we head the Florida guys, we take the auto train from Lorton, Virginia down to Sanford, Florida. We are getting really close to the auto train exit and that's about two hours from our house. So. We're about two hours in. Richmond is 91 miles, give or take. Lisa's still doing a great job over here captaining the ship. Huh? Are you the captain of the Millennium Falcon? I wish it would fly like a Millennium Falcon. I need their mind to Yeah, me too. Yeah. And the four babies are chilling in the back, so. So far, so good. I'm gonna show you this exit here as we get closer to it. We're almost to the exit. There's the exit there, Lorton. Up here is a sign, like an Amtrak sign. It's right over here. There it is. So the exit's right up ahead of us. And you probably won't be able to see the train from this side of 95. It's over, actually right over there, so. What you doing, buddy? You being a good boy? He is being so good. Petunia. This is her very first time that she's been in her little booster seat, so she's doing pretty good too. Oh, she'd here. rather be on your lap. It is 7 a.m. This is day two of the road trip, and we ended up staying in Fayetteville, North Carolina last night. It's about an hour, give or take, from the border of North and South Carolina which means that we're not too far from south of the border, which when I was growing up, you had to stop at south of the border every trip. And we used to go quite a bit. My grandparents, Granny and Pappy, would travel quite frequently from Florida to Maryland. For a long time, they actually were snowbirds. They went back and forth. So it's so nostalgic, you guys. It brings back so many memories. And I'm so happy that we get to share it with the dogs because it's really cool. And of course, you know, Lisa enjoys the, the road trip too. It's nice because you, you can pull over and sleep. Like normally we take the auto train, which I know I've mentioned that before, which is a really nice way to go, but you do have to sleep on very small, very cramped beds and there's movement throughout the night, which we don't really mind it, it's cool, but something to be said about having a nice king size bed that you can just crash out and, and actually get a really good night's sleep. So we're just about ready to go. Lisa went down to get some breakfast and let me show you what these two are up to. They are doing so well. Snoopy's actually 
and training to be a service dog. Uh, I know some of you know Lisa has some mobility issues and she needs a little help sometimes if I'm not always around. So we're trying to get him trained. He's a little older, but you know, he's a really smart dog and he seems to understand when we put that vest on him. What's up? So let me show you this guy. Go get in your bed. That's a very good boy. Lay down. Oh, she's ready to go. Get in soon. Get in your bed. Or get in your get in your bag. Good girl. She's ready to go. Good girl. Good girl. And he's ready to go. Everybody's ready to go. Good boy. So this is considered a studio. It's very nice, very spacious, perfect if you have your pets with you or a service dog, either way. Um, it has a nice kitchen. Uh, it even has a dishwasher, you know, full-size refrigerator, freezer there. Toaster, microwave, stove top even. And over here, of course, is your desk. A nice size sofa. This is a sofa bed also, so that's great. And of course, you have a coffee table. The TV is very cool too because you can actually swivel it toward you this way or you can swivel it towards the bed. So you can watch TV while on the sofa or in bed, which is pretty great. And then there's a king size bed right back there. And also the bathroom is right there in that little hallway. We had his sweatshirt on him yesterday because it was a little bit chilly coming up from Maryland. But it's starting to warm up. It might be a little rainy today, so I'm going to leave it on him for the morning because it's still early. It's like 7. So the good news is we're just about ready to be out of here. Lisa went and got some breakfast. You ready to go, bud? Oh, boy, we're going to go bye-bye. Petunia is ready to go. She's even in there with Lisa's scooter charger. She don't even care. So we're going to go have a great day, aren't we, guys? A nice day on the road. All right, so we will see you guys again once we're on the road, probably when we get to south of the border. Welcome to south of the border. We are currently visiting the Reptile Lagoon and this is actually the largest reptile indoor attraction in the United States so very cool we just got in here and I'm already pretty impressed <gasps> these are crocodiles they're just basking in their light there crocodiles are from Mexico and Belize it says So we're going to just do a, a walkthrough and show you guys all of the animals. Hey, buddy. This You're cute. A caiman. A smooth caiman. Aw. Looks like a cartoon. You're a little cutie. Look at that. He's smiling he for you. He's smiling. He's happy. He probably had his breakfast. called a Siamese crocodile. Whoa, they are big. For those of you that don't know, crocodilians, which include alligators, crocodiles, caimans, um, they actually absorb heat through their mouth. So when you see one with their mouth open like that, just laying in the sun, they're not being aggressive, they're not being mean, they're just absorbing heat into their body and it helps them with digestion. So. Um, not recommending messing with them, but I'm just letting you know that, you know, a lot of people uh, believe that they're mean because they do see them a lot in pictures with their mouths open like that. It's not a form of aggression, it's just their way of absorbing heat into their body. That's how they do it, so just FYI. I'm just smiling. It's very clean in here and accessible. It's all flat, nice half here. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> I like it in Did here. Did you this survive the... That crocodile back there? <gasps> Just barely. <gasps> so this is the Nile crocodile. 
That's the crocodile that most people are most familiar with. And they are endangered, it says. Are they really? So they are, this is a small one. They get really big. I would say they get to like 16 or so feet. They definitely get bigger than the American alligator. And generally speaking, um, crocodiles are more aggressive than alligators. They keep the snakes in here. Ooh, this is a king snake. This is a rhinoceros viper, and they are from Central America. Wow. No, thank you. Western hognose, South Canada, and New Mexico. This is an Argentine boa, Argentina. Hi. What's she doing? Oh, got a little tongue. Like, these are a in the water. Ameri American alligator, and yeah, some swimming over here. That's How long that one is there in the water? It's like, see that long? This one? Going, there, this one's moving. So this is an American crocodile. They're indigenous to, I know for sure, South Florida. And it's a beautiful little croc there. And they get much bigger. What have you found? Lisa, there's something over here. I <gasps> Look at this. Is that a real turtle there? It is. Alligators, fun fact, alligators will try to eat turtles, but that turtle right there is too big for any of them to eat. Oh, that's good. So. Mm -hmm. it's just the entertainment. I mean, it's like TV for them. Let's watch the turtle. Right into the food comes out of that door. That's why they're shooting that way. Yeah, these guys are pretty smart. They're probably waiting for their breakfast. Yeah. What's up? pretty young. I would say yeah. like eight, five, eight. Um, maybe four, three, four. This guy's called a pig nose turtle. He's chilling like a villain in there. This is a Culver's dwarf came in. Beautiful animals, and I do have a huge admiration for them. You're a cutie. Have a great day. This guy is a dwarf crocodile, and he is so. Cute. Look at him. So these guys are called spectacled caimans. They are pretty cute. Look at this guy chilling on his log over here. Oh, look at this guy. What is he after? Oh, you just want to be in the video, huh? He says, hey, you were filming me earlier. I want to be on YouTube. All right, I got you. You got your close up. You're good. You're good. Thank you. You got jelly of you, man, on the log. You got jealous of you. I think he's trying to get up there with his buddy. is a beautiful alligator snapping turtle. These guys get really big. Check out that tail back there. See you later, big guy. So the alligator's out on the island. These guys are called dwarf crocodiles. Kinda cute. This is a king cobra. Oh my gosh. Do you see how big he yes. is? Yes. That head is menacing. Oh, here he comes. He's looking at you.
This is a green anaconda. Sleeping in the water? Can't sleep in the water. Diamondback. Ah, that's pretty. Eastern diamondback rattlesnake. What a variety. Look at uh -huh. that head, though. That's how you yeah, know. That was his last victim. <laughs> Look at his head. That's how you can tell if, an, if a snake is venomous. They have that arrow shaped head. That's definitely arrow. For sure. Sorry, little deer. Well, oh, there's another one back there in the corner. Ooh, this is a yellow anaconda. Yellow anaconda from a lot smaller. South America. This is a black now, this mamba. One, this one does have an arrow shaped head, but it's not as pronounced as the vipers. Notice that? Here's his head. See his head? I don't see his head. It's oh, there head. it is. They're mm. still arrow shaped, but they're not like no. non venomous snakes have rounded heads. But I think this is one of the most venomous in the world, correct? Um, yeah, I think so. Very venomous, yeah. Oh, look what we've spotted. It's another caiman. Oh my gosh, what's Lisa found? Aww. It's a it just fell out. Okay, maybe he's not. <laughs> Maybe not. You can tell if we're real or not in here. <laughs> oh, I think you can tell. <laughs> Look at this big guy. Look, he's turning his head. How are you? I'm waving him. Next to my gloves, they match what Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Tortoise. How are you? Look at this guy. Africa. Africa's third <gasps> They get this big? They sell them at Petco. What? Yes. I'm so serious right now. You need to know this is a very, very, very venomous snake. Often seen in rivers. For instance, when we were kayaking, one of them tried to cross, and instead of going around us, he wanted to go right through our kayak. Very scary. To his defense, it was mating season. Yeah, to his defense, it was mating season, so he couldn't help himself. This is a reticulated python. Let's see how high he can climb. My goodness. My goodness. I guess that's how they get up into the trees. And at the end of every ride, <laughs> or zoo, there is a gift shop. So they have a really cool gift shop here. You can get some safe snakes in the form of rubber. <laughs> rubber ones, get your frames. And these beautiful painted, I love those painted ceramics. Very cool. Kind of little critters, wooden. Now this is great. It says, Thank you. We are one of the largest donors to crocodile conservation, and you helped. Hats. These are cute mugs. Oh my gosh. Gators. Itty bitty snakes. Little snappers. What's going on guys? We are currently stuck in traffic in South Carolina. I-95. I-95. That's why most of the time we dial 1-800-SKIP-I-95 mm -hmm. aka the Amtrak auto train. We've been doing really well today though. We yeah, have. This is the first it. bit of traffic that we've hit, so we're doing so, okay. Totally cool with it. We'll take a look here. We don't know what's happening. Some sort of delay. Yeah, I just hope we're everybody's just okay if there was an accident. We, we got Jen at the wheel, at the helm. Talked her into it. I might have to wrap for y'all. Okay, maybe she'll do some entertaining. Mm -hmm. One second, let me get you set up here. Everybody loves Tupac. I'm gonna tear it up for you. Um, Here we go. I need help with the truck. Fingertips on my hips as I dip. Gotta get a tight grip. Don't slip. Loose slips ain't chips. It's a trip. I love it when she licks her lips. And jock and put a little twist in her hips. Cause I'm watching. Conversations on the phone till the break of dawn. Now we all alone while the lights on. Turn them off. Time to set it off.